is this done, the two-sport athlete, the two-sport star? Yeah. So I was talking to Jerry Glanville about this, and, and he lives down in uh, Knoxville now. And, I, I mean, he's just a hilarious guy. Talked to him for about a half hour. But I was saying, you know, did it affect anything that you were doing on defense schematically to not have Dion in practice for all, basically all of training camp and all of the first month of the season? And he said, I used to put Dion in cat coverage. You know what that is? And I said, no, I never heard of that. He said, I told Dion, you see that cat over there? You got him all day. <laughs> and, and what he was basically saying was that Dion was so good that they either had him in bump and run man against the best receiver, or they would play you know zone cover three and rotate all the zones away from him. They didn't need to help him in any way in coverages. So they could actually just stick him out on an island and say, do what you do. I think there are very few coaches willing to do that now with the elite cornerback talents, even guys like Josh Norman, uh, you know, who's getting paid the most money uh, among cornerbacks. I believe uh, true main Johnson actually might be number one, but Josh is getting like 15 million a year. I mean, nobody's putting Josh Norman on an Island for an entire game yeah. and just letting him play bump and run man on somebody like he's not that kind of player. So um, I think that, schematically the game on the football side has gotten way more complicated and it's very hard to put a player out there at any position without him being there and being integrated in that offensive or defensive unit for, you know, several months at a time. So to think that somebody could then moonlight in baseball, which is basically an everyday sport when they're in season um, and really get into the groove of hitting um, you know, because I, I, I think a lot of guys like Dion would say that you, you need, uh, you know, you need a lot of time working on that every day to get back into the swing of it. I just, I think it's basically impossible. It would have to be somebody who had very few responsibilities specifically on the defensive side of the ball. The Dan Patrick show weekday mornings on audience. <laughs> 